Do you want to manage your work and your well-being from the free Viva Insights app, which is available right now in Microsoft Teams? I'm the Productivity Coach, and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Redout, the Productivity Coach, and I'm a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft. Now, I'm sure that everybody would agree that since the world of work changed a few months ago, we're really struggling to keep balanced our work and our well-being, uh, whether we are working from home, working in the office, or we have a hybrid model at working too. And we found that our days have got longer, there's less gap between meetings, and lots and lots of people are saying that they're really struggling to find that focus time, which allows them to actually get work done. A few months ago, we released the Viva Insights tool inside Microsoft Teams. It's probably there right now, and you've probably never used it, but I use it every day, and I absolutely love it for helping me get to grips with my work, prioritize what's important, and make sure I switch off mindfully at the end of the day. So let's have a look. So here I am in Microsoft Teams, okay, and it's over here on the left-hand side. If you click the dot, 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 we can see the Insights app. Now, if you can't find it, if you type in Insights and scroll down until you see that green icon with the white circle, so just tap on that. And then the first thing you want to do is pin it. So right-click it and pin it. So it's there, it's easy for you to come back to every day with these core apps. So here I am on the home screen. So we've got things here like, how are you feeling? Tiles encourage you to send praise. We've got this great headspace uh, integration, which is completely free and you can use. Uh, we've got top actions for today, which are coming out of my email, uh, the opportunity to book focus time, and it's integrated with Microsoft To Do, so it can see my really important to do items. So I'm gonna start off the top here with this, how are you feeling? Now, important thing is here that your reflections are completely private. So your manager, system admin, no one can see that. But this is a nice way for you to be able to check in and say, actually, how do I feel today? And I can go to reflection history here and I can see over time. So this is the first time I've done it, but over time, this will show me how I'm feeling. So I can analyze my own work patterns and then I can set a reminder. So pick which days I want to be reminded. So I'm gonna just add in Monday and I'm gonna say what time. So let's say about three o'clock. So not too close to the end of the day when I'm tired, but I'm gonna do my reminder there. So every day that's gonna remind me at three o'clock just have a little uh, check in to see how I'm feeling. Okay, moving along. So we've got this one that says send praise to your colleagues. Now we've always been able to send praise, but it's much easier to do it here. So you click send praise. And let's say I'm gonna do a team player and I'm gonna do it for Megan. Okay, so there's Megan. Now I can either do it in a one-to-one -one chat, so it's just me and her, but let's do it in a team so that everybody can see. So I'm gonna do it in the communications general team and I'm gonna type my note here. So massive thanks to Megan for stepping in uh, when I was out of the office uh, with illness. Okay, and then I can just click onto that preview button there, shows me what that card looks like. I uh, can just send that straight through and that will go through into that team. And if I go out to Teams here, I'm uh, in the communications general one up here, you can see that card there. So it's really public, everyone can see. So people can go on and hit the, hit the love heart icon. They can go and they can maybe put a little gif with the applause, that's something my team love to do. And it's just a really nice way to make sure that uh, you're really calling somebody out for doing what is just a great job. And then if I pop back to the insights panel, you can see there that it's actually prompted me again to set up a praise reminder. So you don't have to do this every day, but I'm just gonna set reminder with those defaults. So it's gonna remind me at four o'clock to send praise to someone. Then we've got these top actions for today. So this is AI pulling this out of my communications and it's the same as that stay connected tab at the top. But I click more insights here and you can see that I can pin my important contacts. So I haven't pinned anyone yet. Uh, but if I wanted to pin someone, I would just go over there and pin them. And then that means that they would actually go up to the top. And then I've got things here about different reminders that I want to do uh, about things with that uh, person. Okay, so then we've got here what the actual thing is. So I have an RSVP to a meeting. So it enables me to just do it straight from there so I don't have to jump out. Uh, so I've got another one here that I've not RSVP to yet, but I'm just going to leave that just for the moment because we're actually going to use that later in the demo. So go back to the home tab again. Okay. And you can see that we've got this focus time here and that's the same here as this protect time. Uh, so you can click into that 
And this allows you to book time into your diary for deep work. So we know that people have too many interruptions, but the uh, insights will allow you to book that time and it will mute notifications and stuff and it will show up in your diary. So it made suggestions or I can click to see more suggestions from my diary and then I can just pick the ones I want. Just click that button that says book time. OK, and then if there's anything I don't want, I can just click remove slot uh, and remove that if I want to. OK, uh, and you can see here there's a little pane on the side, which is called the virtual commute. I'm going to come back to that one in a little bit because it's about mindfully disconnecting at the end of the day. So that's booked out my calendar, made it really easy uh, for me to make sure that I'm not disturbed. OK, um, so then we've got this uh, tile here, which is about Microsoft to do. So it is integrated right into to do. So if you set tasks up, you can get them straight from there. And this is jumping you out to that. So it's highlighting where you've got important tasks that might be due today. So you can go in and uh, just click that you've completed them. OK, so back here now I, I can uh, review those tasks, as I say there. Uh, but what I want to look at very quickly is the uh, mental uh, break. Uh, the recharge and those mindfulness exercises from Headspace. So we've got short ones here, like the little three, six minute, five minute ones there. Uh, then we've got very specific ones like ending your day, uh, which is about 10 minutes there. Um, and then we've got like this focus music that um, will allow you to just really make sure that you're focused in on what you want to do. So just pick the one you want. All you need to do is click on it there and then you'll be able to go down and hit the play icon. Hi, and, then play and welcome there. to working from home, ending the day. So it's more important than ever. OK, and that's completely free. So, you know, instead of you going and paying for a Headspace subscription, you can do that there. Same with this mindfulness music. I really like this. You can just click this and then uh, you've just got some music on in the background, but not stuff with lyrics. So it really helps you to kind of focus in on what you want to do. OK, so as I say, I'm just reminding again, it is completely free. It's already included in Microsoft Teams um, and you don't have to pay out for a Headspace uh, subscription. So the last one I wanted to focus here was the virtual commute. So I use this every day. Um, I can set up a reminder here, so same as before, uh, to, to remind me to do this, but I use it every day and it helps me just bookend the end of the day. So I can click to start that and it's saying, hey, finishing work feels good. So here it's looking at those tasks which were scheduled for today that were in my to do. So I can go, yep, I've done that, that's great. Move through onto the next card. Oh, vacation time for December, I need to do that. So I'm going to remind that myself of that tomorrow. And then what I can do is I can scroll through and then add in extra things. So this is great for me because I need to kind of do a brain dump at the end of the day. So I might say uh, send email to Miriam about uh, Viva, oh, Viva personal insights. I need to tell her all about this and I can add tasks. Uh, let's just do one more here. So I'm going to book a one to one with my manager. OK, and for me, this is really important because it allows me to just kind of get rid of everything that's in my head and I don't wake up in the night thinking about it. OK, so now it's looking ahead for tomorrow just to see what's on my uh, what's on my diary for tomorrow. So I've got maybe some meetings here that I haven't quite RSVP to. Uh, I'm not sure whether I was going to make those. So I can again, I can just accept or decline them straight in here. So let's decline that one. I'll take that one. I've got my focus time, so it's reminding me I've got my focus time. If I wanted to delete that, I could, but I don't want to. So let's just accept those other ones there. And then this is one that I've already accepted earlier, so it's just collapsed here, but it just allows me to see. So once I'm done, I can click next. And then I've got that emotional check-in again at the end of the day, just how am I feeling? So let's say pleasant, okay, because it might be the end of the day, I might be tired. Click next. And then it's just got that... Um, that headspace checking out at the end of the day, 10 minute mindfulness exercise there. So that is everything. Hopefully you'll find this really, really useful. Personally, for me, especially I'm working from home all of the time. Uh, it's really easy for me to kind of my work day to just bleed into the evenings, etc. So the reminder for me was essential because it was a really clear signal that came through in Microsoft Teams to say it's the end of the day. You need to check out, go through the end of the thing and go and spend time doing somewhere, something else outside of the office.
So anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If you have, then uh, make sure that you like and subscribe uh, on YouTube. And then also make sure that you click the little notification bell uh, so that you find out when new content comes. And just share the video with someone else. Paste it into a Teams channel in your organization and tell everyone else about this. Don't keep Viva Insights all to yourself. You know, we want everybody to be able to be able to manage their work and their wellness uh, all the time. And that's why that app is so important to us. So as I say, hopefully you enjoy this and I'll see you again on another video.